I moved to Hebden and was very immediately struck by its architecture. Its architecture is very unique. It lends itself very well to being flattened and abstracted because of the way the houses are built into the valley. And the moment I moved here, I started painting landscapes and I had never had done before. My process tends to start with visiting somewhere or knowing somewhere well enough to have a composition or an idea in mind. I'll go and sketch on site and then I'll come home and I'll work those sketches. I'll build them into a composition. I will make notes on colours because I'm interested in colours behind colours. So I, I take lots of notes because photographs never capture them as I remember them or as I see them at the time. And also it's about capturing the, the heat of the moment that you're there. So whether it's a warm day and you can feel the sun on your hair or whether it's a, it's a cold, bright day and um, everything's a little bit blue. I study textiles at university, so I've always had an influence in on surface patterns. I think textile designers have a particular way of simplifying or abstracting forms like trees and plants or turning things into a design almost. I always have a notebook with me and I, I often just note down very simple tree shapes that I see, um, turning them into, into patterns like tiles. Make somewhere quite plain, quite beautiful, quite, quite decorative. I live on bridge lanes in the middle of Hebden Bridge and the houses on the main road, they look very dark, they're very dirty. But if you go around the road at the back, they are always in full sunshine and they have gardens that terrace down towards the river. And, and they couldn't exist anywhere other than Hebden Bridge, which has this very unique feature of overdwellings and underdwellings. It's a very beautiful place. Studley Pike is a memorial on top of the hills between Hebden Bridge and Todmorden. And it was my daughter Hattie that went there first. She went on a walk with a friend and she loved it and it was her that took me up there so Stugley Pike was one that I painted for Hattie, it's her picture. 